Okay, in this screencast I'd like to take a look at the content portal within Ultranet. We find the content portal by scrolling down to the global navigation bar and then clicking on the purple briefcase at the bottom and that will bring up this window that we have here. And in particular I'd like to have a look at the favourites tab and the new application called collaborative favourites that has been added. So having a look at the um, favourites tab here, we can see that we can create folders which allow us to organise our favourite content that we have perhaps added ourselves within Ultranet or that are come as a part of the endorsed content within Ultranet. So looking here, um, we're all given a general folder to begin with and then we're able to add our own folders according to our needs. So I've created one here that collects some online drawing tools that I might like to use in an iframe with students and put those together. Here I've got um, a collapsed folder and we can see by that little triangle on the on the side here that we can open or expand and close or collapse folders to show the contents of those folders. So I've got one here on alternate icons and I've started to create um, a favourites collection around ebooks that would be also good to put into iframes. So if I wanted to add another group, just click on the add group button and perhaps we might be studying something to do with Australian history and I might like to start to collect Australian history resources and content so I can save that and I've now added another group to my list and you can see that the groups are organised alphabetically. So I'll just close those ones off. Now in order to add content to those um, favourite folders, you might be searching through endorsed content and you will notice that next to the endorsed content on the right hand side appears a little yellow star. So there's one there. Now I've done a search looking up here. You can see I've done a search within endorsed content for a drawing application and this is the results that have come back. So as I scroll through I see that there are a couple of endorsed um, websites that I would like to add to my online drawing tools. So if I click on the little yellow flame, uh, a little yellow star button there, it says, tells me what the name of the resource is and allows me to choose via a drop down list the folder that I would like to put that in. So I'm going to add that one to the um, online drawing tools folder. Now that I've started to create those folders, I might like to put those collections of favourite resources into a space. So if I move over here to a collaborative space I've got with some, some teachers, I might like to add to our content page that collection of um, favourite websites and things that I've found. So if I go down to the um, Actions menu and up to Add Applications, the application menu will appear and when I start to type in the words collaboration I'll see that under content management the new collaborative favourites application appears. If I click or drag on that add button I can add that application to my space. I'll just close off the application menu. Here I have collaborative favourites and what I want to do is import from my favourites. So if I click on that yellow button I can then choose by clicking on select which of those folders that I've created in my favourites content portal I would like to add. So this one's now giving me um, a select button over here so if I click select it's put in online drawing tools I can tag that if I want to and that seems like a good idea so I'll copy the title and make that the tag as well and I'll save that and when I get the message of success or the green tick at the top, I'll know that's been successful. And here it is. So now I have got on my page access for space members to the online drawing tools that I have favorited. And it tells us that there are 14 entries there. And when space members click on that folder, they are presented with a list of those um, things that we favorited, those resources, and they've got just one click away to viewing that and having a look at what is available. So that's how we use collaborative favorites and how we favorite websites within Ultranet.